This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to talk about bed bugs. I have a list my son and I have compiled of 20 different ways that you can get rid of bed bugs in your home. This is this some of them may work, some of them may not work, some of them may be a complete waste of time, some of them may, may be actually harmful to your health. But we're going to go over them all and so I'm I'm starting a new series on the channel. It's going to span maybe 4 or 5 weeks about the top 20 ways that people get rid of bed bugs in their house. So if you like this series, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get each part of this series as it comes out on the YouTube channel. But I'm going to make four or five videos going over uh, all the different ways that people try to get rid of bed bugs and whether or not they're effective. And yes, there are ways that are effective. You can get rid of bed bugs and I'm going to include them in this list as well. So like I said, hit the notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already. And it's that way you can catch me when I'm live. Well, I do live streams every Thursday night, uh, which I continue to do. I know I haven't made a lot of videos lately, but I do live every Thursday night where I can answer your questions about bed bugs, cockroaches, silverfish, whatever it is that's bothering you as far as pest control. So let's get on with the video. So I'm going to have to look down a little bit. <laughs> I got my list here. And so if I don't make eye contact with the camera the whole time, understand that I am reading a list. It is a lot to have to remember. But first, I want to talk about home defense. All right. Home defense is a chemical that you can buy at Walmart. This will be number 20 on the list, home defense. You go to Walmart, you buy yourself a bottle of home defense, you come home, you start spraying your bed bugs. Does it work? Uh, the problem with home defense and the reason why it's ineffective at getting rid of bed bugs is because of the active ingredients that are in advanced home defense. Home defense has the active ingredient bifenthrin, which is the same thing that's in more professional products like Talstar. And it is not effective to get rid of bed bugs. Bed bugs develop a resistance to it and immunity to it because it is a synthetic pyrethroid. A pyrethroid is a man-made duplicate of a natural pesticide that, that you know occurs in the environment, like in chrysanthemums and marigolds and other flowers produce what are called pyrethrins. A pyrethrin is taken away from the flower and it is molecularly enhanced to last longer, which is how you get a synthetic pyrethroid. And synthetic pyrethroids, bugs develop resistance to them. So that's why home defense is something that I would not recommend for the control of bed bugs. And number 19 on the list would be diatomaceous earth. So why diatomaceous earth is not effective on bed bugs. Diatomaceous earth does kill bugs. It does kill bugs. But the problem is, is that it works so slowly on an infestation of bugs that they can continue to reproduce. Yes, you may be killing some, but you're not killing them all. You're not breaking the life cycle. You're not eliminating the bed bug problem. You're just prolonging your issue. You're making them last longer. You're not getting rid of them very quickly at all. And not only that, no matter whether it's food grade, whether it's pool grade, whatever, it is not safe to use around yourself. So if you take it, you put it on your mattress, you put it on your box spring, you put it around your baseboards and different places like that that people like to put it, it actually causes a health hazard. It will uh, permeate into the air, create a dust cloud that you breathe in. It gets everywhere. It's nasty and it's not safe to breathe it into your lungs. It actually causes things like silicosis, which is on the rise in hospitals ever since people started to try to do their own pest control using diatomaceous earth to control the issue. So DE is something I absolutely would not recommend you do. It is not safe for you. It is harmful to you. It is harmful to your pets. It is harmful. That's why I say don't do it because it will hurt you. We're about being safe on this stream. We're about safe on this channel. I don't want people to do things that are unsafe for them, their children, or their pets. So diatomaceous earth, number 19, don't do it. Uh, number 18 on the list 
would have to be Vicane. So Vicane is a gas treatment. A lot of companies started doing this now. I've noticed at least one in Virginia that does it, and it's not what I would recommend. And the reason being why Vicane is not something that I would recommend for the control of bed bugs. Now, this is considered a gas treatment. It's not a bug bomb. Like you go to Walmart, you buy bug bombs. It's not like that. It's actually the molecules are so small, they can penetrate into the wall voids, into your belongings, and they can kill the bed bugs that hide there. People are like, oh, that sounds great. That's like 100% effective, right? I said, yeah, it is. It is effective. But one of the problems with Vicane is that it will absorb into synthetic materials like cushions, pillows, things that are made out of petroleum type products, plastic products. It actually bonds with these materials and can absorb into these materials. And this is what your pillows on your bed are made of. It's what your mattress is made of. If you have like a Tempur-Pedic mattress, the whole thing is foam. Uh, all these memory foam mattresses and stuff people have in their homes these days will bond and hold on to that Vicane gas. And when you lay on these you know, items or push your body down onto them, it pushes this gas up and around you and you breathe it in and it can kill you. It's not safe, not something I would ever recommend for the control of especially bed bugs. It's one thing if you live in a state where you have uh, drywood termites, carpenter ants, things like that eating your home, you could use Vicane, it will kill those things, but you're also supposed to remove your beds, you're supposed to remove your mattresses, your couches and stuff like that from the home before they even do a tent-like procedure to get rid of these types of these types of pests. So I don't recommend Vicane, even though it's a professional treatment, you can't do it yourself. You have to hire somebody to do a Vicane treatment. I don't recommend it. It's not something that I would ever do for my business because it's just not worth the risk. Uh, I know that the statistics are small for, you know, people dying from Vicane. It does still happen. It does accidentally, accidentally happen in the pest control field. People have still died from Vicane treatments, but I've never killed a customer with the way that I apply my pesticides. I've never had anybody kill themselves uh, following my channel or anything like that. And so uh, it's just not worth it. I don't want any of my customers to be a statistic for a Vicane poisoning. So that's why number 18, Vicane, would not recommend it. Uh, number 17, this is a new thing that people have started doing called freezing bed bugs. All right. Now, a do-it-yourselfer may take, you know, some things that can't be heat-treated, some things that can't be sprayed, take them and sit them in the freezer, and uh, think that they're going to kill their bed bugs. Uh, that's not going to work. Bed bugs need a temperature of below 40 degrees, negative 40 degrees Celsius. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, not Celsius, Fahrenheit. Negative 40 degrees, all right? Colder than that to kill bed bugs. Um, there is a procedure that some companies are doing called freezing bed bugs, where they use a gas and they go around and they actually apply the gas, uh, pushes it out through a machine that liquid freezes on contact to mattresses, freezes uh, box springs, bed frames, stuff like that. And it will absolutely kill the bed bugs if it comes into contact with them. But the reason that freeze treatments don't work is because there's no residual after the fact. So like they go through the house, they freeze everything. They kill a lot of bed bugs. Let's say, let's say they kill like 80, 90% of the bed bug infestation, but you have 10% still hiding in the house, like inside a wall void or, you know, where you can't freeze them. You can't get the wall that cold. And so, I mean, especially because there's insulation in the wall, it's going to protect the bed bugs that lay eggs in the wall. So you're not going to be able to get your bed bugs, you know, eliminated with a freeze treatment. So that's why number 17 freeze treatments would not recommend it. It doesn't, it, there's no residual effect. And, and going on to that, let's talk about heat. Heat treatment, number 16 on the list. Why I do not recommend a heat treatment is because heat treatments are not effective for the control of bed bugs. If you have an exterminator coming into your home, pushing heat treatment, saying, hey, we're going to heat this house up, we're going to kill these bed bugs, or you've seen a YouTube channel somewhere where someone has brought in a kerosene heater and they said, hey, we can use kerosene heat, we can absolutely get rid of these bed bugs using kerosene, uh, this is going to be so great, I saw it on a YouTube channel, I'm going to use that, you know that's a good way to burn your house down. All right, heat treatments are not effective to the to control bed bugs at all. Now, I'm not talking about heat plus chemical. I'm going to go over in that later in the list. But heat treatments alone do not kill bed bugs. When you turn the heater off, same thing as a freeze machine. When you turn the freeze machine off, the heat no longer is killing bed bugs. The heat dissipates. The house gets back cool again. Then any bed bugs that are hiding in the wall or anywhere the heat did not penetrate through, 
they don't die. And then you still have a problem. You know, two or three months later, they're reinfested, they're reinfested, they're all over the place again as if you never did anything at all. So heat treatment is not an effective solution to get rid of bed bugs. Don't listen to an exterminator that pushes it. Don't fight, don't, don't hire them. Just, just don't hire them. Hire somebody that does a chemical application. That's what you need. That's what works on bed bugs. And so hopefully this video has helped you. Hopefully it has uh, taught you a few things about what not to do. And trust me, stay tuned. Every week, Tuesdays, I release my videos. You will get the solutions for your bed bug problems. This is only the beginning of the list. The, top, the five, five items gone. We got 15 left to talk about. So hopefully this video has helped you understand why I don't recommend these types of things uh, on this list. And we're going to go into number 15 next week. So hang tight. Follow me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate everybody that sticks around for my live streams every Thursday night where we kind of hang out and ask questions, answer questions about bugs. I've developed quite a nice community around here where a lot of people even will help you even on my video comments. So uh, pay attention if you have a question or anything like that. And I haven't mentioned something yet. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We still got three weeks to go where we're going to talk about bugs and we're going to talk about how to get rid of bed bugs and how to actually get rid of them effectively. So if you like it, like I said, give me a thumbs up, like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It's really important that when you subscribe to my channel that you actually hit that little bell that pops up so you're notified of when I do my videos because a lot of people I've noticed through my analytics, when you check, a lot of people are watching my videos, but not everyone's subscribed. If you're subscribed, you'll actually be able to get this content regularly updated, and so you can get rid of your bugs effectively. I do do-it-yourself videos. I show people how to do this stuff. I go into houses. I set up tripods, cameras, everything, and I film a lot of stuff. So there's really good content here that you could actually really uh, use. It's very useful. So anyway, y'all have a good one. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.